Hi guys, it's Manek from EarlyLearningMom.com. I am just here with a different kind of update. The last couple weeks, it's been kind of, our updates have been kind of sad, to be honest with you. I was in a real funk for a couple of weeks, and our program was on and off. And I realized that um, I was putting too much on myself, and I wasn't organizing myself properly. So I've been kind of, um, I took a step back and I started looking at what I can control. So I could control um, making sure that I meal planned and that I had all the food in the house that we needed and that I didn't have to make random waste of time runs to the store or really struggle with what we were going to have for dinner, what we were going to have for lunch. I made sure that I had a bunch of meals in the house. My husband and I spent a weekend kind of prepping and that kind of took a big weight off my shoulder. I also started doing Fly Lady, which has kind of gone to the wayside just a little bit, but it's easy to fall back into into pattern, which I have been doing this week. So um, Zakari got a stomach virus and then he got an ear infection. And now we're discovering what we thought was a long fever from the ear infection was actually another virus that he picked up because now all of my daycare kids there was him and another little boy that were out at the same time and now I've been sending kids home with fevers and they're going to the doctor and they're finding out that it's the same virus so that really took us for a, a loop and I think about other families that are on the Doman program and ones that have more medically fragile children than myself so Z, overall, he's typically a fairly healthy kid. He has autism and he has ADHD, but usually he doesn't get sick. This year has been the exception. And I fully realize that he, our version of sick and other people's version of sick that do the Doman program, there is a huge gap between there. And I am grateful that my son is not medically fragile to the point that things like what he had don't like I know he's gonna pull through I know he's okay it's just it's difficult to watch your son or your any child be unwell and with Z when he gets into these situations sometimes the pain can make him aggressive so we kind of feel like we're living on eggshells but like I said I thank God every day that he's healthy and I don't have to worry about you know, long hospital stays or, you know, ventilation or whether this little virus is going to interfere with some treatment that he's on and make him even sicker. So, like I said, I understand that different perspectives, different things. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to come and kind of share our first day of getting back on the wagon. So, a couple of weeks ago, I felt like I had emo I was emotionally stable. I could, um, you know, I didn't feel like I had a huge elephant on my chest with anxiety. And I felt like, okay, I wake up, I'm like, okay, we're ready. We got this today. And that's when Z wasn't feeling well. So you really can't do a good Doman program when your child is unwell. Like if they have something that's not typical for their you know their health and so I decided we were gonna put the brakes on we did do a little bit of um, ease listening therapy things that were very easy and relaxing but I took the time to kind of try to get organized and so anyhow this weekend the fever broke on Friday I believe late Friday night the fever broke and it was gone Saturday we had a very rough day with ear pains but Sunday he woke up and he was good. He was feeling better. He still had a nap midday, but overall we were doing a lot better. And had a little bit of a cough, but that kind of goes with that fever virus. So what I decided to do this morning, we got up, we were starting programs. I emailed our coach, Spencer, to kind of find out where we should start. I mean, we had a pretty robust program going. And just to jump into that, I felt like it was going to be overwhelming for myself. It was going to be over, super overwhelming for Z, who is like feeling better. But you know how you are when you've recovered. You're still, you're not 100%. <laughs> so we got back a message today that we should be hitting the program at about 
And so because we've been noticing some basically some convergence issues going on with his eyes that had been getting better, we pulled back out the uh, creeping and crawling program. Actually, we just pulled out creeping today. I'm going to pull out crawling tomorrow. But we did creeping. We creeped 800 meters today. And Z had been asking this weekend to do creeping. And I figured he understands that that helps him with his convergence. And so if that's what he wanted to do, that's what we were going to do. We still have not started our walking and running program. The weather out here just hasn't been fantastic. Um, I really kind of wish we had gotten this program like early spring so we could have really gotten involved with it. And I think what's going to happen is we are going to land up having to get a YMCA membership so we can go use the track. I think that's the only way this program is going to happen between now and the spring. Um, but that being said, we pulled out our crawling and creeping program. And also, I didn't want to take Z outside just yet to spend too much time outside with his ears still recovering. So we did creeping and crawling. I also started using this little, it's just like a little student planner book that I got at the dollar store. And I decided to use this instead of our original planner, which is this, because this one I made, and this one kind of makes me feel like a failure because this is, I had planned our book shark stuff, I had planned 180 days of science, I had planned all this stuff that we were going to do. And apparently the me that's planning didn't talk to the me that actually has to run these and run a full time and have a full time job and you know two other kids. Didn't They didn't talk and this is just too much. So when I look at this, and I have been using it anyhow just to kind of fill in our programs during the day. but this book kind of makes me feel like a failure and I'm not I just over planned and I was overzealous with this so instead of staring at this and upsetting myself I just pulled out this little student planner that I had purchased at the beginning of the year at Dollar Tree so Canada dollar in Canada Dollar Tree is a dollar twenty five I think in the states it's just a dollar but anyhow dollar twenty five got this little planner that I am writing what we did so today we did the first part of our um, Doman International homemade reading program that I, I made this homemade book and I'm not sure, you know, I don't think the homemade video, I, make, I made a video about how I make these books, but anyhow this book is a portion and is created based on this book what if you had animal teeth and these books are incredible they take real science facts and they make them kind of silly like catch your kids attention so like they put the child in the perspective of well if you had cobra, like rattlesnake teeth this is what you would look like so it's a lot of fun so I'll show you how I make these books um, in another video coming up soon so if you're not already be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that we also took some vocabulary words. Now, Z can read these words, but what we're trying to do, and at the back, I'm not sure if you can see, there it is. I write a, just a short and sweet definition. So I show them the word chisel, and I say, a metal tool with a sharp edge used for cutting stone, wood, or metal. And then I slide to the next one, and edge, the cutting side of a knife or blade. And I just go through them um, instead, a plate, in place of something else. And I just give him the definitions so he knows what the words mean. Just because he reads them, um, it just kind of gives him the opportunity to understand what he's reading a little bit more. So that way, and these words come from this homemade book, so when we come back to this, he's understanding what he's reading a little more. And then we play games where I'll show him uh, two words, like instead and iron, and I'll say, which one means in place of something else? and he'll pick the correct word. And we, I tested him on a couple of these words and he's already getting it. So I really think he does understand what he's reading, but it is um, a method that um, they, like a program that they presented to us to help him read faster. Because the faster you read, the more you understand. We also have been going through our little math flashcards and we go through these five times a day 
and I have two I have a couple sets here mixed together we're just reviewing what we've already done just to make sure that um, these facts are sticking with him and then I'm going to later in the week introduce some new math facts we also finished tonight we finished this book um, Gold Town Beginnings 2 Gems Frog Fiasco I'm going to do a review on this this was sent to me through the old home school the old schoolhouse review crew can't even talk tonight and I've already done a video on the first book so I'm going to do a video on the second book and I am also going to do like a written um, book review um, on both of them and we started reading the Nancy Nancy Drew and the Clue Crew the Halloween hoax so we started reading this tonight what else did we do I'm going to look at my little planner so we did the homemade book we did creeping which I mentioned before we did 16 laps and those uh, we did that five times so uh, when I say 16 laps it's he crawls from the wall in the kitchen or living room all the way to the wall in the uh, in his bedroom and that equals I wrote this down 16 laps that's 10 meters a lap so he's doing a hundred and sixty meters a session so it equals after he does the five sections it equals 800 meters so our goal right now I mean in the past we've done actually double that in a day we've done um, 1600 meters which is 1.6 kilometers um, but we're not we're not at that point yet especially with recovering we did his ease therapy his listening therapy I've done a video about this um, it's to help desensitize his hearing and help him focus on what he's supposed to be listening to and ignoring background noises um, there's a video you can check it out I will try to remember to link it down below but if you I did it probably in September maybe I wrote I did a video about that um, we did his vocabulary words his math drill we did masking now Z has a bit of a cough right now so we wanted to ease back into masking we were doing 45 masks for 50 seconds and so we started off for nine masks for 50 seconds and we're going to continue adding five masks until we get to our goal which is actually 50 masks um, we had a chiropractor adjustment today Z was supposed to have his appointment on Thursday but I just felt like with all the um, chiropractic or uh, the spine like ear pain he was having that to have the adjustment sooner um, would probably be better than later and so he is giving us a little bit of a hard time adjusting the right side of his neck which is the side his ear infection is on I'm pointing to the left right um, but we were able to get a little it adjusted a little bit we were able to adjust the left side we were able to adjust his back so we're moving forward but we just need him to let us adjust his right side he's just resisting a little bit um, we also did an ionic foot bath today it has been a while since we've done an ionic foot bath and I really need to do a video about this because when we started the ionic foot bath back in March um, Zakari had I think it's called a ATEC score it's a scoring on like the severity of your autism and he had a score of a hundred and ten I believe and so we did the 17 weeks of foot baths and at the end of the study it was part of a study so we received a discount and everything and at the end of the study he had a score of 45 which he went from severe to moderate so we want to continue using this machine it's helped a lot um, I'm gonna do another video about it though I'm not gonna get into too much detail but um, so we did a 30 minute foot bath we also are using our Tweedlewings videos again which is something I used with Z when he was younger and I used with Wesley when he was younger and I've used with several groups of daycare kids um, it's like a flashcard program it's like mo kind of Montessori Glenn Doman kind of um, all mixed together and so we are on lesson six so we did lesson six and that was about it um, like I said we didn't um, jump completely in because Z is still recovering from his ear infection and stomach virus and another random virus that he caught um, it's kind of a germy time of the year apparently and so we 
are just trucking through. I'm hoping tomorrow to get him um, hanging from his brachiation ladder. I don't know if we're going to actually start brachiating again and get him doing some trips down the brachiation ladder, but we are going to start with hanging to start off with from like basically hanging from a dowel and um, but we just use the monkey bar ladder. So anyhow, that is what we're doing to get back on uh, the wagon. We fell off this wagon pretty hard, and we have a lot of programs that we still have to introduce, and we still have to get moving. But I think now that I've organized myself, and now that Z is on the mend, we should have more update videos for you. Just um, I'm not going to do one this week about... Uh, you know, well, maybe I'll do one. I'm not going to do one for last week because really Z was sick and it's not much to update. So I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, be sure to thumbs up. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, if you are not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. I share videos on parenting, special needs, children, on, I, I do book reviews. We do um, homeschool reviews. I talk about the Doman method that we're using to help um, our son with autism or as they call brain injury. And I also talk about other therapies that we do, like I, I'm hoping to do a video on ionic foot baths. We talk about chiropractor and um, natural supplementation. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, be sure to thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time.